In a Mendelian cross, an individual who is homozygous dominant for a trait is crossed with someone who is homozygous recessive. This can be represented with a Punnett square. In a Punnett square, each gamete is haploid, and so therefore if the alleles are represented by capital and lowercase letters or by you know, other means, then only one of the two alleles would uh, be depicted in each box. Males will put half their alleles into one type of gamete and half into a different kind, and so would females. And so then it becomes a statistical issue which gametes fuse with uh, which gametes from the opposite gender. In the parental generation of a Mendelian cross, uh, one individual is homozygous dominant and produces om only dominant alleles in their gametes, while the other individual is homozygous recessive. And all of the offspring are heterozygotes, receiving a dominant allele from one parent and a recessive allele from the other parent. And all of these would then have the dominant phenotype. When the F1 generation is crossed, since members of the F1 generation are heterozygous, both males and females would produce two types of gametes. Half the gametes would possess dominant alleles, the other half would possess recessive alleles. And so therefore, a quarter of the offspring would result when a dominant allele bearing sperm fuses with a dominant allele bearing ova and the offspring would be homozygous dominant. Half the offspring would result when uh, one gamete carries a dominant allele and it fuses with a second gamete which carries uh, a recessive allele and so therefore they would be heterozygous receiving different alleles from their two parents and one quarter of the offspring would possess a recessive allele from each parent and would be homozygous recessive. Three quarters of these offspring would uh, display the dominant phenotype. So those which are homozygous dominant and heterozygous would have the dominant trait, while the homozygous recessive individuals would display the recessive trait.